Hi. I should maybe, do you think I should maybe do this with my makeup off? This wee video is going to be short and sweet. This is how I do my like DIY cluster lashes. But every now and again I like to just like apply these wee lashes and they'll stay on for maybe like a couple of weeks depending on how well you care for them and look after them and everything. So um, I thought I would actually just film like how I apply them. Like it's, it's not hard and like there's so many of these videos like especially on TikTok. Um, that type of content's a wee bit easier because it's just like short content straight to the point but I'm going to the northwest tomorrow if you're from Northern Ireland or Ireland you'll know exactly what that is and when you find out what that is <laughs> you're like where are you applying lashes to sit in a field and watch motorbike racing but anyway these are the ones that I always use I just got these off TikTok shop and this is the brand Pure Lure, Pure Pure Pure, Pure. Puriller, <laughs> Puriller or something, I'm not too sure. But yeah, these are the ones that I always wear. As you can see, I've made quite a dent in them. So I don't actually think I'm gonna have enough left here to do both eyes. So I have these ones here. So these are gonna be quite handy actually. It was Shane that gifted me these just before Christmas. I feel like I need to say that this video wasn't sponsored or anything, I don't know. But Shane sent me like the most random PR package just before Christmas. Um, it was really bizarre. What am I looking for? Clips. Yeah, before Christmas they had sent me like the most random PR package and these lashes were in it. I think we more than likely will use these wee lashes because they do look quite nice. The Bond and the Sailor. So I have two different types here. So this one here actually came with these from TikTok shop. And then the one that I always actually just use is this Bond and Sailor. Now this was actually by the brand Kiss, like Kiss Lashes, which I've tried before as well and they're really good actually. And I really do like this Bond and Sailor. Um, because I know that whenever I do these, like I'll have them on for maybe like, as I say, like a couple of weeks, like a fortnight, depending on how well you look after them. And then of course, my wee tweezers. Oh, I'm actually just realizing, am I, am I blind? <laughs> I'm not being a snob or anything, but because these wee lashes here are from Shane, I'm, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you see, I'm really bad whenever it comes to my eyes. If you've watched me for quite some time, you'd know that I'm prone to getting like, things in my eyes like I take reactions to eyelash glues quite easily so yeah I'm not going to use that glue from Shane so I'm just going to be using my normal one from as I say Kiss. So I don't like to do a lot I just like a wee bit of lift and volume at the outer edges outer corners and then obviously shorter coming into the inner corners but I don't like to go the whole way in to the inner corner I just like a wee bit of flare just on the outer corner. I don't think I'm going to go for the longest ones because I think they're maybe a wee bit too long for what I'm wanting. So I'm going to probably start with this row here just at the outer corner because they look long enough. Just taking the brush I always like to start as I say at the outer corner and just brush and coat the lashes. And taking the lash I'm just going to apply that underneath as tight to my lash line as it'll go. I want to be close enough so you guys can see what I'm doing but at the same time it's like if you're funny with eyes I don't want to be like all up in your face <laughs> doing this. And again taking the lash putting it underneath I like to go underneath my lashes, like apply them underneath because I feel like it looks more natural. I don't know, obviously not too sure how well you can see, but it just, it just looks more natural. And you would maybe think that you can feel them and it will feel uncomfortable, like throughout the day you'll feel them or if they like ping off or something or it can be difficult sleeping with them and I honestly have no issues with them at all. I done these wee lashes, um, like to go to Bali and everything and they were great. 
So yeah, we're going to the northwest tomorrow. Me, Kyle, and our friends, like our two friends, like we go every year. Um, like the past couple of years, I'm just taking the glue off. <laughs> the past couple of years, like we've went the whole day and like actually stayed, and it's actually really, really good. Like me and her don't really care too much about the bikes or anything. We literally just go bring drinks, foods, a couple of seats, and we literally just chit chat all day. It's great because <laughs> obviously Kyle and her fiance, they're obviously there more to see the bikes and everything. Well, we put on like a longer one on the outer corner. Do you think like another one? Hold on. I'm going to take it off to see like the really long ones. Yeah, that looks quite pretty actually. Because I have this eye basically done and I'm just wanting to add another wee bit to the outer corner. I'm not going to go in with the bond to the actual lashes or anything. I'm going to apply the bond to the strip of the lash at the top obviously because that's where it's going to be sitting just coat it enough and then apply there we go Ooh. yeah like that that's quite pretty like that's literally all i want just just a wee bit of something. I'm gonna go in with the sealer. And I like to go on top and below applying it. I don't ask why, because I don't know. <laughs> but just, just a wee bit underneath. So mainly just applying the sealer at the root of the lash or like where you've applied them. But that's it. These hopefully should last me at least a couple of weeks. To remove them, like some of them will just kind of like come off really easily. And then obviously you can just pick them off yourself anyway, trying to be careful with your actual real eyelashes. But um, Kiss do like this wee eye makeup remover. And it's kind of like separated with like half liquid and like a wee bit of oil at the top, whatever. You just kind of shake it up and then it's a really, really good remover because see the bond stuff, it's actually really, really difficult to remove and get off your eyes. And you actually do end up like nearly ripping your eyelashes out around to get it off with just like normal eye makeup remover. So that's why I got the Wee Kiss eye makeup remover thing. I wonder what I'd be able to find it. Hold on. Found it. This is the Kiss Full Scar Remover. The reason why I'm really making a big deal out of it and mentioning it is because it's so, so handy and I really would highly recommend getting something like this. I'm sure there's another brand out there, but because the bond is so strong, <laughs> which I'm not complaining like, because it does keep them on for a good while long time, but it can like ruin your actual eyelashes. It's a nightmare to go off because it's so sticky. But yeah, as you can see, you just give it a bit of a shake and it just removes just like the glue and you can obviously just put this in a cotton round cotton pad and just like press on the eyelashes as well if you want to remove them before they come off themselves or whatever I don't know it's easy I definitely do like putting an extra one just at the outer corner so it gives it a wee bit more volume and maybe a wee bit more lift but you see what I mean by like how natural they look whenever you put them underneath God, I've got this glue everywhere <laughs> um and then that's obviously just, ugh. Yeah, but I've got like a bit of this glue, like bond stuff everywhere by the way. But yeah, they just, I just feel like they just look more natural whenever they're put underneath and you can't feel them, they're not annoying. But I can only just speak for myself obviously in my experience and how I feel of them. But yeah, that's it guys. Got nice pretty eyelashes to sit in a field tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.